in this session we are going to discuss about normal function and arrow function we are going to discuss both with an example and finally we'll see the differences between normal function and an arrow function first let's write an example for normal function let's write an arrow function so there are two ways to write an arrow function one is a single line arrow function so what this does is it will return whatever that's present in this first line so there is an there's also a multi line arrow function let's print all three functions we can see normal function getting invoked and single function getting invoked and multi function getting invoked so the single line arrow function will return anything that's present in its first line so multi line arrow function if we want we can return any uh, any values this is how uh not uh, arrow function works so and let's see let's see the difference between normal function and arrow function obviously arrow function is very clean to write the normal function occupies more more space right here uh, there is a function name which doesn't do a lot of work here so arrow function looks very neat and also uh, we all know that each function will have uh, this object implicitly normal function will also have a dis this object similarly arrow functions will al also have a di this object the way in which normal function uses the this object and the way in which this object is handled by arrow function is different so we are going to look into how normal function handles this object and how arrow function handles this object we'll we'll see this with a small example let's comment this first we'll create a class let's create an object let's print it and see how it looks 
we have a json object okay now let's attach a function to this class animal get we can have a function called get dinner let's return a value from here let's use this keyword this dot name this dot name will fetch whatever assigned by line object to the name property in this case we will have line in name property so we are accessing line here okay now let's access the method get dinner we can see the name property being accessed inside get dinner this is because the lion object calls get dinner and the this binding the this keyword that is present inside get dinner is overridden by line object that is why we are able to access the name property of line object by using this dot name normal function allows this kind of assignment so this keyword can be overridden by a calling object so in this case line object calls the get dinner method so line object can override the this keyword of get dinner okay now let's see what happens when we use arrow function when we use normal function we can see that our uh, name property of line object is accessible inside get dinner this is because line object passes its by reference to the this keyword of get dinner that's why we are able to access the name property of line object now we are we are using arrow functions let's see we are if we are able to access this keyword here we we have undefined here this is because line object the reference of line object is not assigned to the this keyword of get dinner method this is the default behavior of arrow functions so this binding will not happen here the binding of this keyword will not happen in arrow functions so this is the important thing to note here so that there are many scenarios in which the this binding has to be overridden we we'll look at it in the upcoming sessions but right now you can understand that you can just understand that this binding is not overridden when we are using arrow functions but this binding is overridden when we are using normal functions